At Hansen's Keeper Shield Quarry in Northumberland, an entire triple SI was translocated so successfully that 10 years later in 2010, Natural England designated the receptor site as a triple SI in its own right, the new Scroggs triple SI. In 1998, the quarry was to be extended across land which contained the Scroggs triple SI. And it was agreed that with the planning authority that as much vegetation and soil as possible should be transferred from the triple SI to another location prior to extraction. The Scroggs triple SI was a complex mosaic of habitats and also contained one of only three populations of Shining Ladies Mantle in the UK, making it therefore of national importance. An appropriate translocation site was identified where the underlying conditions in the donor site for each microhabitat could be recreated. This involved the manipulation of ground conditions, including the formation of exposed areas of limestone and windstone suitable for receiving the translocated vegetation. In 1999, over 3,500 ladies' mantle plants were hand-dug and transferred to a prepared holding area in the receptor site. The turf was then lifted and placed in the receptor site, ensuring the correct turf was placed on the correct soil or geology, so the mosaic of underlying ground conditions of the triple SI was replicated in the donor site. The ladies' mantle plants were then replanted into specific areas of the transferred vegetation. Weed control was carried out over several years, and the grassland is now managed by means of annual grazing through the Northumberland Wildlife Trust. Atkins, in conjunction with quarry operator Tarmac, has successfully employed an innovative approach to conserving great crested newts at its Crown Farm quarry in Cheshire. Rather than following the traditional method of erecting fencing to exclude newts from working areas, Atkins protected their habitat, but allowed free movement of newts between ponds on the site, preventing metapopulation fragmentation. As well as creating new ponds and enhancing existing habitat, Atkins built sand buns to mark out areas of the quarry where newts were present and erected clear signage. Surveys have shown a significant increase in the great crested newt population, first recorded in 2003, and data has indicated that they prefer different ponds at certain times of year. With no exclusion fencing at Crown Farm, the newts are free to follow their preferences and this has achieved breeding success while saving money and time. An extensive translocation programme is underway at Aggregate Industries Calden Low Quarry in Staffordshire, which aims to not only protect but also to extend an area of nationally important unimproved limestone grassland. Planning permission was granted in 1992 for an extension to Calden Low into part of the Rue Hill Triple SI adjacent to the quarry. The designation dates back to 1968, recognising the significance of the unimproved limestone grassland habitat that has developed on a number of disused small scale limestone quarries in the Calden area. A scheme has been developed to translocate this important habitat drawing from several years of detailed vegetation and soil assessment of the area concerned. Implementation of the scheme has involved an initial demonstration phase where different translocation and transplanting methods were used and their outcomes were analysed to establish the most effective methods to be used for more extensive translocation. There are a variety of vegetation types and ground conditions within the triple SI. Where possible, vegetation and soil are lifted as intact turf units, but certain areas require rough stripping. Prior to translocation, areas of special vegetation interest are identified and where notable plant species are recorded, such as the frog orchid, these are lifted as soil and vegetation plugs for transfer to receptor sites. Based on the findings of the initial translocation trials, a more extensive translocation programme will be undertaken. The medium to long-term objective of this initiative is to deliver a net gain in limestone grassland, consolidating the locations at Calden Low that have received translocated limestone grassland. Faced with a large volume of overburden at its Dunstew Quarry in Oxfordshire, Smiths needed to amend their restoration plan to use the overburden in an innovative way, creating a very different habitat to that originally planned. The original approved restoration scheme for this site was to a totally dry, waterless um, quarry floor. But because we were able to provide the opportunity to uh, use the calcareous clay overburden, we've created a seasonal wetland 
which has water in it for the best part of nine months of the year. And the surrounding landscape, we have created a small catchment so that whenever it does rain, we're constantly getting as much water as possible into this wetland. The new plan was formulated in partnership with the local ornithological society and included the creation of circular walks for people to enjoy the wildlife without disturbing it. Duns Chew is adjacent to Horsehay Quarry West, an existing local wildlife area on the site of an old quarry which was last worked in the 1950s. This area has been allowed to regenerate naturally as acid grassland merging to heathland, but careful management of gorse, field maple and hawthorn has created a series of open, warm, sheltered glades which attract invertebrates, particularly butterflies. The site features a long exposure of sand face known as the Horsehay Sand Formation, which is a designated geological triple SI dating from some 165 million years ago. Smith's restoration has created new extended face exposures that are particularly important for solitary bees and wasps, and Horsey Quarry has an established colony of sand martins, estimated at 80 to 100 pairs. It's hoped that the new sand cliffs will encourage the colony to increase. An extension granted to Lafarge's Calden Limestone Quarry in Staffordshire includes part of the Calden Dales Triple SI, a loss of priority lowland calcareous grassland habitat that Lafarge Calden seeks to mitigate with an innovative translocation project. A three hectare receptor site was prepared with species rich grassland and it was translocated from a non designated area within the quarry land onto seven plots. A further four plots on a separate slope were used for trialling different habitat creation techniques from scratch with an additional two adjoining plots used as a natural revegetation control. Different techniques were trialled on each of the seven plots, including varying thicknesses of subsoil finished with grassland material translocated as litter or whole turves. Some plots were further treated with locally harvested green hay and or seed applied by hand. Each trial plot has been surveyed annually, with data gathered to assess vegetation development or recovery and composition, with a view to comparing the success of the different trial methods. The most successful methods will be employed in the translocation of the Triple SI area. Meanwhile, habitat creation on a wider landscape scale is being pursued to reconnect, support and expand existing ecological networks and to enhance local habitat.